Good morning, everyone. It's Tess, and today is tip 260, and I know I'm early. I've been later and earlier. This weekend's got a lot of training, and I've been getting some uh, stuff done, and I've got a little bit of stuff to do this morning before the trainings all start again. But um, I wanted to get online, and today I decided to, to talk more um, on a topic that kind of came up from yesterday. And um, it, it's like uh, I got an aha or a memory, a reminder of something. And um, I know I, I talk about this all the time that um, through Doc V and through um, Zara Mahoon, which is unlimited, and she's a the law of the attraction coach that I'm working with. And we all know I work with Kristen Ogle too with uh, the Money School team, which is helping me to kind of identify like moving forward on my business. But um, what I identified is, or, or what, Zara made me identify yesterday as she reminded me of something that through all this learning I've been doing, I, I forgot. I, I didn't connect with exactly right. And a lot of the work that I've been doing is about um, healing. And we all hear this. Every program you even look at and you talk about talks about our limiting beliefs. It talks about... Um, it's almost like a self-sabotage way. And that video that I put in my um, page that uh, was um, that Zara, Zara put in uh, yesterday on my talk from yesterday, it was really a great video. And um, we've talked about it in some of the group coaching I've had. I don't know that I'd actually seen that video until last night, but I'm so grateful for that video because it reminded me and it, and it will help me to share that um, I actually have been expanding my, my comfort circle. And I, I think that's so important because the more I expand it, it helps me to grow faster and feel good in the journey, which makes the things that happen in my life so much better. I can see somebody's on, but it hasn't told me who it is yet. So hello, hello, whoever it is. But um, what was so good for me to remember is that I am continually trying to improve my comfort circle or improve the things that feel good to me so that I can continue to reach for the items that I was afraid to reach for before. Um, so I do, uh, I do want to kind of go back and, and this is kind of my way of reminding myself because I've got to keep remembering that I've been working so hard on overcoming limiting the, the beliefs that have caused me to not move forward. The beliefs that caused me to think that I couldn't succeed at weight loss. The beliefs that caused me to think that I couldn't succeed in so many areas of my life. I've had to overcome them. And it was when I read, when I listened to that video yeah, last night, it reminded me of things that are actually happening to me every single day, but I, I, I forgot the connection. And I wanted to make sure to change that with everyone because I work every day, and I know I've shown everybody these journals before, but I work every day in my journals so that I can say things that are, so that I can work to make my thoughts more positive. Um, I am strong, I am confident, I am open to sharing and learning, I am supportive. These are a lot of like the affirmations that I use, but they're thoughts that I try to do to kind of overcome fears and to make my comfort circle larger. So I thought that was such a great thing because when we talked about, like we talked that Glenn likes that word failure, I don't like that word failure because I'm always looking to be in a place of being happy and joyful, which is even something that someone from the training from Chris Noggle said yesterday. You want to live in a place of joy. You want to always be growing yourself from that place of joy. It's hard and it and it's, uh, can, that might be why so many of us struggle is if we're not healing those limiting beliefs, if we're not trying to improve where we are at different points in our journey. And again, I'm not saying this as as um, eloquently or as in, as uh, scientifically as like um, Zara does, but but those tools that I've learned from her and from the other groups, but her approach is in such a way that it is in building the strength of our beliefs and and being positive and feeling good and feeling joyful and and the and the emotional scale like in the video she'll show you are you at despair or are you at love and. 
you know, you always want to try to make your decisions from that place of joy and happiness and love. And it's funny because so many programs, it's not funny, but it's from so many programs, everybody talks about getting to that place of joy and happiness and love and that your growth expands when you're in those places of joy and happiness and love. And, and what it connected with me last night is, she's right, the comfort circle gets bigger when you heal those beliefs that aren't supporting you because they're stuck in there. Um, again, like she said, you don't need to go in and try to kick out all of them. But as they come up, just start to, to say the positive thoughts or think the things or work through creating those beliefs re, you know, to overcome them so that you're building confidence and giving up the fear. It was just such a... Um, it was such an it was such an, a wonderful reminder for me because that is something that I'm doing every single day, but it didn't connect to me, and it did a while ago. So for for some reason, um, I fell back on an old belief about overcoming the comfort circle. I had a period of time where I was connected with that idea of creating the bigger comfort circle, but I had forgotten. I had. Um, I had gotten into some. I had continued my education, and that had slipped by the wayside. But I confidently know that my comfort circle is getting larger and it's helping me to reach further than I ever dreamed possible and I love the way that she kind of worded things in the video yesterday because it <clears throat> it helped to remind me and I am excited I'm excited because so many thoughts that I had previously I've been able to soothe and heal so that I could expand and be ready to 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 take on more and to meet more because I've even been that person that's been the introverted one the always the one that thought that I couldn't achieve more and this past year and a half of working through and healing and building confidence and trying to release the fears and working to release the fears and moving forward building that confidence and creating the larger comfort circle has been life-changing for me um I I like when she was saying that, and I think that's the difference and maybe what I was trying to explain and I couldn't exactly explain it is like, Glenn likes the, um, Glenn is okay with the word failure. It just doesn't sit comfortable with me and it never has. For me, it is more about creating more positive in my circle, making my circle bigger, feeling better in these places and continuing to grow it to be larger. So um, I guess I just wanted to remind myself that I need that I need to continue to look for the good evidence, to continue to look for the positive self thought, to continue to look for the ways to overcome the fear that's blocking me from moving forward. But like she said, no lies. It has to be truthful. But but there are so many truthful things that are helping me to grow my comfort circle that it's exciting. So I guess I just wanted to share that now. Um, um, her her video that is I shared it on my page last night, so you can watch it. But I do think it's true. We have to be honest with where those fears are, and we have to be honest with our approach in releasing those fears. Because no matter what program you look at, whether it's Tony Robbins or Doc V has been talking about law, law of Attraction, any, you know, Chris Nogglehead, and I can't remember the man's name now. I wonder if I can. But he was, he was, the guy yesterday in Chris Noggle's group, he was so, um, he was so happy. And his life was so, oh, Kelly, Card Kelly Cardenas, C-A-R-D-E-N-A-S, um, he always talks about like everyone is awesome. You're awesome. Everything you do is awesome. We all have a day and it always gets better, but you are beautiful. Don't compare yourself to others. You're in the exact place you need to be. He was such an, I would almost say that he has studied, studied law of attraction and that he knows we work hard, but he knows that we also need to be in that place of feeling good. He said, you know, you want appreciation, gratitude. These are all things that I've learned and um, it was interesting because it was just another reminder of the tools that I've been um, introduced to in the past year and a better way to approach them. So it is true. The comfort circle gets bigger as you, without lies, 
re revisit any of the limiting beliefs that are stopping you from moving forward. I want my comfort circle to be so large that there's nothing I can't reach. And I do know that we are unlimited. We just have to heal the parts or soothe the parts that are blocking us so that we can continue to move forward. So I, I just, it gave me a chance to think about this and to revisit it and to remember it so that I can continue to move forward because I don't want to be confined to a small area of comfort. I want to make that comfort larger so that I can achieve bigger and better things. And it's funny, there were a couple of areas yesterday in training where that idea came up and I'm like, oh, thank you Zara for reminding me of that because we talked about it in some of my groups with, with Zara in the past couple of months and I'm like, Wow, and I at that time it had connected to me, but somehow I had released it. So for all of us, let's go create these massive, big comfort circles, but no lies. Heal the limiting beliefs, soothe the limiting beliefs, and then overcome them. And, and follow Zara on, on her YouTube channel. I've watched a lot of her videos, and it's helped me a lot to fill in the gaps and to grow, and to grow it a faster rate than I ever thought possible. So I am so grateful for all of the people that have come into my life to help me to become a better version of myself so that I can do better things for myself. Hi, Beverly, it's so good to see you. But it, it's helped me to become a better version of myself and in becoming a better version of myself, hoping to anyone who I happen to connect with that it provides them with a tool that will help them to get better. So I guess I do think it's not about, it's not about, hello, hello, hello. It's not about breaking out of the, it's not about climbing over the comfort circle. It is about making it bigger. And it becomes bigger when without lying to ourselves, we look for the things to, to heal the limiting beliefs so that we can grow our comfort circle larger. And I think Zara Mahoon's, uh, YouTube that I put on my page is a beautiful way to kind of revisit it and it's helped me it reminded me because I went through a group coaching with her on that very topic and for some reason I had I hadn't connected to it um, in a little while so it was such a great great reminder and that's the beautiful thing about all these tools and all the groups and the, the mentors that I've had is that they're helping me to come up with the tools. In the training I was with with Chris yesterday, I had an aha because he was saying like, even my CPA um, isn't as comfortable with certain things. And I'm like, it's true. All of us have areas of growth and that's what makes life so exciting. And it, it gave me more um, confidence to keep moving forward. So that's what I hope is that anything I share is just what happens to me personally. But I always want to make sure that I'm sharing in a way that maybe is helpful to other people. So if that comfort circle is small, let's work to make them bigger. No lies, but revisit the limiting beliefs that we can make stronger and improve where we're headed. Because it doesn't have to be as hard as we make it. And even Doc Veal say, it doesn't have to be so hard. We make it harder than it needs to be. And I think that was a perfect example yesterday. It's not about climbing over the comfort circle. It's about making it larger, making it larger so that we can encompass more and look for the truth, the true things that will help us to overcome those beliefs that are blocking us. So have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you so much. Beverly, it's so good to see you. I'm, we miss you in group, but it's so good to see you. Have a beautiful day and thank you so much for listening. I'm off to get a few errands done before my next training class. Thank you.